So, Paco Falejo, uh, it's the first round here in Baden-Baden, and you played a quite a quick draw today against Fabiano Caruana. Can you tell me something about the game and the opening, perhaps? Yeah, well, I mean, when I prepared the game, I mean, he plays a lot of different things. He plays Zbeshniko, he plays different, uh, uh, with the Spanish Free Lopez, different things, Petrov or even Nidor or others. So it was a difficult game to prepare because he plays a lot of things. And on this line, I decided to play a line which is a, it's a very long line, but uh, it has a lot of different uh, ideas that you need to check carefully because uh, if something goes wrong, it can be really dangerous for both sides. But if you do remember, then uh, your opponent will be in trouble because he needs to play also the very precise moves. I was uh, kind of uh, lucky that, um, well, that he didn't remember exactly. But on the other hand, he's a very good player, so he found actually uh, all the best moves or at least uh, one of the possible ideas that uh, actually ends in a draw. I mean, if I would knew that, I will, of course, try something else because you don't play against the second best player in the world every day and uh, making a draw with white, I mean, it's not that it's a bad result, but of course you want to play the game, you want to enjoy the game playing against such a good player. But on the other hand, I mean, well, what to do? I mean, this is a chess, this is a sport, and uh, you try your best, you try to trick your opponent with the openings also, and this is the fight that we play it often, actually. How often did you play against Fabiano? We played a lot of games, actually. I mean, maybe in total in our, my life, I played him maybe around eight, nine times or something, or maybe six, seven, I'm not sure, but uh, I've won, I think, once, I lost twice, I think, and some draws. I mean, well, I mean, it's a different story when you play him with white or black, of course, because then, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, with white, it's easier to get a solid position or to play. But I mean, it's a very interesting player, of course. And so it's, I mean, for me, it's uh, to play this tournament is very important because you can test yourself against the best players in the world. So let's see what I, what I can do in the last three games. Huh? Yeah. We moved from Karlsruhe to Baden-Baden. In Karlsruhe, we played the first round in a very in a big hall with a lot of people, and then two rounds with very, in a big hall with not so many people, and now we play in Baden-Baden. What do you prefer? Do you play, like to play in front of many people? Uh, I don't mind so much. I mean, I'm, I think I'm a professional chess player, so I mean, if I have to sign a, a hundred autographs, I'll do it. I mean, I, I don't uh, have problems with that. Even if I lose, I mean, <laughs> I'll still do it. So even if I don't feel in my best, uh, well, with my best feelings, I will still think that this, this is uh, what you need to do if you want to promote the sport. So, in general, I mean, I don't really mind playing here or there. I mean, it was fun to play there. I mean, I was a bit disappointed with, with the results because I, th I think I could have uh, made a bit better with the results because I had good chances to be even better in some moments against Magnus or against Vichy. It was also a very interesting game and I made a, a bad decision and, and then I was completely lost immediately. So I mean, the problem with chess is the equilibrium. It goes uh, very fast. I mean, one bad move and you're, no, you, sometimes you're lost immediately after one bad move. Even if you played the whole nice game, still one mistake, it's enough. So, well, this is what we are playing. I mean, it's, it, in this case, I, I would compare it to football, actually. Football is the same because you can play a very nice game, dominate and everything, and then you receive a goal and you lose the game. So in chess, it's a bit the same. You can play very nicely, but in the end, the result is what matters. And, uh, well, this is what uh, I'm working for. Huh? What is your favorite club, football club? I support Real Madrid, but it's a uh, few months already. I don't watch any game of their games because, well, I mean, after this Ajax game, this was, I mean, no, I mean, I don't mind them losing, I mean, in general, but, I mean, I thought that they don't really fight. I mean, Real Madrid in general, I mean, they, they fight till, till the end always. And in this game, they were just walking, I felt. So I said, okay, it's enough. Next year, I will watch again. <laughs> <laughs> um, you played a lot of games here in Baden-Baden. You play in the Bundesliga team. Do you feel at home here? Well, probably it's the place in Germany that I have been the most times, of course. And uh, even in the world, probably it's one of the places that I have been the most. Uh, I would say, yeah, I mean, of course, in the Spanish cities I have been a lot. I mean, I was living in Mallorca, which is like half German, of course. But uh, I was living in Mallorca, I was uh, living in Menorca as well. I was living in Barcelona. I've been a lot in Madrid, Malaga. But out of these few Spanish cities, then Baden-Baden is one of my 
I mean, my main places, let's say. So I'm always very happy to come. It's a, it's a beautiful place. Everything, everything is uh, taken care of with very de little detail here. I mean, everything is so nice. I mean, and uh, the atmosphere is very relaxed. And uh, also they have this Caracalla term, which, which I enjoyed a few times also. It's very, I mean, it's a lovely place, of course. Okay. Very, very happy to have you here in Baden-Baden. So good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.